my name is Kate, the co-owner of Boombox Library, and I'm going to help you get started with your sound design toolkit. This is step one in the getting started process, an introduction to your sound design toolkit. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, what is a sound design toolkit? Each Boombox Library collection we publish comes with a custom created sound design toolkit. Our sound design toolkits allow you to take your design work to the next level by integrating our sound effects with software such as Contact and Touch OSC. This allows you to intuitively modulate aspects of the sound such as pitch and speed in real time with the simple touch of a finger or the swipe of a hand. All Robotic Creations collection sound design toolkits include a pre-programmed sample library which you can easily import into Contact, an interactive digital MIDI controller layout custom created in TouchOSC, which allows you to intuitively modulate the samples on an iPad, a Pro Tools template to make monitoring and recording your design work easy, and a manual for easy setup and reference. So let's talk about required software. Your sound design toolkit requires the use of two pieces of software, Native Instruments 3 or higher, and TouchOSC, which is comprised of three parts, the TouchOSC Editor and TouchOSC Bridge, which are free and download to your computer, and the TouchOSC app for iPad. You will find download and purchase links to each of these pieces of software in your manual. Now, let's get down to understanding your sound design toolkit. The Robotic Creations Sound Design Toolkit has several pieces of necessary software, and each part has a unique function within the Sound Design Toolkit. It's important to understand how everything works so that you can effectively troubleshoot any technical problems that you may encounter, and also use your Sound Design Toolkit to its fullest. First, you have Native Instruments Contact. Contact is an industry-leading sampler. In addition to a powerful playback engine, it also contains a wide range of features, including audio effects, modulation, and advanced scripting. We've chosen Contact as our sampler in the Sound Design Toolkit because of these incredibly powerful functions. Contact is meant to function in the background while you're using your Sound Design Toolkit. You will need to have it open and have the correct multi-loaded, which is included in your Sound Design Toolkit. But you do not need to own a MIDI keyboard, nor should you need to understand the programming under the hood in Contact. You will solely be using TouchOSC on your iPad to trigger, modulate, and volume control the samples. Next, let's talk about TouchOSC. As I said, TouchOSC comes in three parts, the first of which is the TouchOSC Editor. Now, the TouchOSC Editor is a piece of software which allows the user to create and transfer TouchOSC layouts, which is the term for pre-programmed skins for TouchOSC, onto your device. In this instance, we have created a TouchOSC layout file, which is pre-programmed to allow trigger and toggle, volume control, and modulation within the contact multi. When using the TouchOSC editor with your sound design toolkit, you will only need it to transfer the layout from your computer to your iPad one time during the setup. After that, you do not need to open the TouchOSC editor software again. Next, let's talk about TouchOSC Bridge. TouchOSC Bridge connects your computer to your iPad anytime that you're using the sound design toolkit. It's what makes the communication between the TouchOSC app and contact possible. For this reason, you will need the TouchOSC Bridge to be open every time that you use the Sound Design Toolkit. The TouchOSC Bridge does not have an application window or any settings, but when the application is open, the icon will appear in your computer's main toolbar. The icon will disappear when it's not running. It's also important to remember to reopen the TouchOSC Bridge if you restart your computer at any point while working with the Sound Design Toolkit. The TouchOSC Bridge application does not auto-open on startup. Now, let's talk about the TouchOSC iPad app. The TouchOSC iPad app is where you will be doing all of your creative sound design. Once you've transferred the layout file from your computer to your TouchOSC iPad app, you'll be able to control the contact multi-instrument with your iPad. This interaction all occurs under the hood via the TouchOSC bridge. Once you've completed the setup, contact will operate in the background and you'll be able to trigger or toggle sounds, as well as change the volume, pitch, and speed of the sounds from our sound design toolkit sample library. Finally, let's move on to your digital audio workstation, or DAW. Unless you're planning to perform your sound design creations live, you'll most likely want to monitor and record your design work within a digital audio workstation, such as Pro Tools. We've included a Pro Tools template as part of your sound design toolkit to make getting started with Pro Tools as streamlined as possible. So now that you've been introduced to your sound design toolkit, you're ready to move on to our next video, getting started installing your sound design toolkit. Have fun!